Brent's the magic user, which is absolutely fine. I just want to let you know what that my fighter's name is Thacko. <laughs> I wrote Mike because of uh, the ease. Oh, I got you. Oh no, yeah, no, that's that, that's fine. And I know who's who. Otherwise, you're, you're Chuck's in tow. We don't know what he is. All right. <clears throat> Here's the scenario, right? You heard about, quote, unquote, uh, this really cool flaming pa pass keep that was been up there on a side of a mountain. You've heard it's, it's a volcanic mountain. <laughs> Rumor has it that there's been lots of parties that have ventured up there to be slaughtered and never seen again. Some of them raised in level, went back up there, and then same thing, crushed. Party members up to nine big, just destroyed. So it's believed to be a fire giant stronghold, okay? All of a sudden, rumor has it there was a catastrophic war of some sort that occurred up there that, you know, don't know what that means, don't know what happened. You heard there was just tons of commotion and bad things happening. And all of a sudden, uh, the mountainside grew quiet. and oh. and. Yeah, so you guys are just investigating because you think that possibly it may be one of those things where uh, um, it may be worth your while to investigate to see if, uh, you know, maybe something in there for you. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you come to these giant iron doors, and they're somewhat open. Hard to move, but open. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Well, I, I'm going to. I'm going to look over at Brent, see if he gives me the thumbs up as I start moving towards. Oh, we need Schmeppy. He's oh, yeah. only. I sent a link. Oh, he wasn't there when I sent it. Uh, hey, real quick, what does Phantasmal Force do? Pause it makes an illusion. But it's making an illusion that potentially could do real damage if they believe it. If they believe it, you can do it. So like like let's say you made an illusion of um the ceiling caving in on them and they believed it. Then they the ceiling take. actually does damage. Yes. It's it's kind of cool. Or if you did a dragon, a dragon or um, an ice dragon, especially if they're fire things. Yes. Any one of those things would work. Yes. Okay. So I've, I'm on Schmeppy. Now I'm trying to find where you're at. You got to zoom out and zoom in again. It's towards you the bottom. Zoom out. It's, it's towards the bottom. The place is huge, right? Okay. That being said, John, there's like like two squares up towards the top that are uncovered. Is it really? Uh, <laughs> I can't really tell what it is, but no, those two little things. Yeah. At the mystery. Oh, uh, you know it's up there. That's all I can say. Okay, here you go. <laughs> You'll never know. You'll never find out. Oh, we'll never God. get there. Um. Yeah, I don't think we've ever we've ever we never made it out of the big room. So um yeah, but not oh. to metagame. Um so um I'm going to um step forward and is the crack in the door big enough for me to slide through? Oh yeah, you can get in there. Well, I'm gonna just do I oh, see what are you? Are you the dwarf? No, I'm the fighter. Oh, okay. All right. I picked well, a I picked a one. Oh, you did pick the I, one. Okay, that's so cool. I, that's what I thought you wanted us to do was like one through three. No, you one picked the one. That's it. It was it was random. Yeah, completely random. So you have no light source once you get into the room. Just let you know. Well, I'm not in yet. I, I'm I'm just looking to see if I see light sources in there. Uh, and there's no light source at all. No. Okay. Dark. It's dark. Um, I'm gonna whisper that to Brent. Okay and um ask him if he wants me to light a torch 
Uh, yeah, knock yourself out. Um, <laughs> but then I have a, I, I, I lose my two-handed sword um, ability. Um, Would you like me to carry the torch? But then you have to have your hands free for spells. I guess my question is, well, but if you don't have a magical way of doing a light source, you know what we we could do? I could just I could cast um, fireball. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hey, there. You go. Well, no, I can, I can, I can light a torch, and then um, if start things starts going down, I could just put the torch on the ground, or maybe I could put it in a um, in the in the wall somewhere. It's like. It's a fortress, right? It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, right. I will. I'm Thacko. I'm, it's all fine. I'll light a torch. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you light torch, and as you uh, reveal, mm -hmm. you see what's going on. I guess I can put more into this. Okay. Uh, you can see it illuminates more and more. Of, of the actual room, you get to the point you see these giant feet pointing out towards you on the ground. Oh. I'm going to tell um, the wizard to stay behind me. And I'm going to step into the room. Okay. And are the feet in the center or up the off to the side? Okay. What you see over here, all right, is what appears to be a giant with a spear, spear impaled into its chest, pinned up against the wall. And his feet, as you can see, is just kind of like out towards you. Gotcha. Um, all right. Well, he's kind of like uh, as you look at him, he's got like um, almost almost like a Roman gladiator, just his attire. It's not, you know, his skin is kind of reddish, but it looks like he's been mummified. He's been there so long, pretty dead. Cool. Yeah. Pretty dead. Yes. Oh, um, Chuck doesn't see the link either. He's um did he pick a number? Yeah, oh. I don't he probably did. Top of the characters. Well. Yeah, he, um <laughs> Well, then if there is a so there's a there's a dead giant off to that side. Um, what does the room look like? Does it look disheveled, destroyed? Are there um <clears throat> in there's the like a, a ballista this thing was standing next to? It's not loaded, obviously. It's been fired. You can see where spears have been impaled into this side of the wall, right? Down here where you guys are. I uh -huh. I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Put my little laser tag up here. Let's see this. Yeah, you can see where, like, uh, right here and here and here. This is where it looks like uh, this ballista has been shooting these giant crossbow bolts into the side of this thing right here. Right? Is, is the uh, brown circle the ballista or the giant? Say it again. Is the brown circle the ballista or the giant? Well, it's right there where he is. Yeah. And, and is the I got a little further back, but he's been killed. You can pretty much think he was manning the thing at one time. Does the ballista, is it on a, is it stationary or does it move? Stationary, it's kind of like on a pivot. So okay. it can move it back and forth and fire things. But, but it looks like uh, it didn't stop whatever was coming in. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Um, well, I turn to Brent and Chuck, who's being awfully quiet. Um, but I turn to Brent and... Um, <laughs> Ask him, um, uh, you want to go down the left side, the right side, or do you want to just go straight down the middle? Uh, I'm 
No idea. I kind of want to check out the giant skeleton. Let's go check him out. All right. So we're going to move over towards the giant. And I will keep myself um, in front of the wizard. Okay. I'm going to search I mean, him. So, and I'm and I'm scanning out. I'm 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 letting the wizard focus on the dead. Okay. As you move up, you see what appears to be two different giants over here. The one, the darker one, it looks a lot like this guy over here. Okay. Okay. But this one looks different. He's he looks very uh, not sounding very cliche, but very Nordic looking. He's got a helmet with a horn on it. He's got some animal hide skin on him. But uh, both of them are murdered. One's got an axe cleaved into the other one. And from what you can see, um, the uh, the other one, once again, suffered a fate of, looks like a spear straight through the chest. This one over here looks like he's been scorched and burned to death, this guy up here, by a fireball. Hello. Yeah, sorry. He's saying he doesn't see the characters either. But I'll see. He, I think he's driving, so he should stop looking at Is his Is he phone. driving? Yeah. That's irresponsible. I know. Kids out there, don't look at your phone while you're driving. Yeah, right. Don't don't be a Saurian. <laughs> <laughs> he's driving and playing D&D? &D? Who does that? <laughs> Who goes to the hospital to watch his wife get a seizure study and then play D&D? &D? Who does that? It's people that are really addicted. Yeah. Addicted to the game. All right. So we have more giant corpses. I yes. I whisper back to Brent and again Chuck is being awfully quiet. Um who could have killed these giants? Must have been a massive strong party. <laughs> so uh one to the north you want to you want to go north no i'm asking john what about there's a fourth giant no kind of like that north northeastern corner oh yeah the guy by himself yeah nobody's yeah. moving right it looks like they're nobody's moving this guy right here yeah yeah, he's the one that's scorched by a giant fireball from what you can look at. It. He's burnt to a crisp. Oh, I thought that was that one. No, these those two guys were like it would appear to be a war. Hand to hand combat, but they went down. Gotcha. Um are they all similarly attired other than the helmet? Or the Nordic guy? No, these two guys, like I said, they look very how would you like? Looks like roaming gladiators. That uh, I guess this is red. I'm not really sure. What color is this right here? It's brown. Brown. These guys are like in what appears to be kind of like a leather skirt, or, you know, kind of a clean hide skirt with a metal plate for a chest plate. But these guys, they've got animal skins up and down with big boots made out of fur of some sort. Ooh. And um, yeah, these guys look like they match, and these guys look very different. Oh, like warring, and and are they, but they both look like fire giants, or does one look like a different type of giant? They they look like they're more way more similar than these two. Okay, this one's really hard to tell because he's, he's kind of burnt up. Pretty much. So yeah, and but um, fire giants wouldn't take that much damage from fireball. I, maybe these are. Different types of giants. Giant war. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, um, I say we not walk down the center, kind of hug the wall and get further in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is this the um let me grab my token here? Is the alcove over here near to the other side? Is this like a, just like an alcove here, or is this a hallway? Uh, from what you can see, it just looks like a um, an alcove that looks just like this one. Okay, so 
Yeah, let's just hug, hug the wall and keep going forward. And there, well, is there is there anything in there that looks peculiar? Well, if you two guys want to roll a d6. Okay. I rolled a five. Yeah. yeah. It just looks like a normal wall, nothing special. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just it, it mirrors what that what's on that other side. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Um then we will move this way. Nice. Yeah. We're not gonna meta game. No, I didn't think so. It wouldn't matter because I'd say, well, you don't see that. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, well, but if someone got the dwarf character, they would have. But pretty much, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Well, Chuck may because he he's got to pick between two and four, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he will pick. Which one do you think he'll pick? Um, the thief. <laughs> There's no thief. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, no, he'll. he'll yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll do the fighter, I think. But you are the fighter. Well, yeah, I'm the, the fighter. The dwarf well, fighter. You think so? Probably. Ah, he, he could probably do a really good cleric, too. He we'll could. See. As you as you climb, as you move further into the room, I guess you guys would have to move these things. Uh, yeah. Exploring this guy, he was really, he was really scorched. You see burn marks all up here in front of the thing. And you can yeah. tell, yeah, he got landed. He was toasted, right? By a fireball or something. Okay. Um. And so more alcoves. Yes. All right. Um. Then we will. Yeah. We'll move on up. And I guess the same thing. Do we notice anything else in any of these alcoves? Uh, you guys give me a D6 roll real quick, both of you. Sure. A one. Yeah. Wilford notices uh, it appears to be a little bit of a, a thing over here. All right. Um. Right there. Looks like a, a wall that can actually turn. Huh. It's on the Okay. Yeah. Casting light up further into the room. Okay. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what you're going to see looking up further this way. You see, way up here, two more of these guys, and they look like they've been um, much more scorched with fire. Okay. And cindered where they're sitting. As far as your torch will throw light. It's a giant room, literally. It really is. It's like 30 feet tall. It's a chasm. And the closer you get, you see what appears to be like a mess of boulders, but it's not. It's like burnt body parts of these giants. So I'm going to ask the wizard. I'm at Brent, do you want to continue exploring this and then come back for that secret door? Or? I kind of want I just want to see how far back this it is? this ring goes. All right. I'm gonna move up to here. Okay. I guess we should check these bodies out. Is there anything valuable on them? Uh, no. Not really. These things are burnt. They look like they had weapons, but they're yeah. way too big for anything for you to use, number one. And number two, anything that looks like it was kind of maybe usable or salvageable, it's scorched. It doesn't seem like it's very functional. Yeah. Uh, when you get up closer to the thing, you can see there's actually a pale blue light on what appears to be sort of an altar. I guess I can illuminate this as much as possible for you to see. Um, it goes up this way. Ooh. Look at that. 
Uh, Thanks for that. Uh, 